flying the flag for Armed Services Day in North Tyneside. Veterans of all ages gathered together with local cadets to show their appreciation for the work of the armed forces. And they took time to reflect on those from the borough who've lost their lives in Afghanistan. James Thompson from Whitney Bay, Kenneth Michael Rowe of Westmore, Jonathan Michael Allett of North Shields, and Carl Marshall of Howden. They all made the ultimate sacrifice. The veterans were then honoured in a ceremony before being presented with a badge honouring their support and sacrifices for their country while serving in the armed forces. Next is Alan West who served in the Royal Navy. Each veteran that was honoured with a badge also received a certificate in the ceremony, giving them something to look back on when they reflect in the years to come. We have to remember that most of these people have given a lot to their country, and we all have benefited from that, and it carries on. One of the problems I think today is that the word veteran implies an old person. But of course we have a lot of veterans who are very young men who are coming back from Afghanistan, and, so, and we need to remember them also. And I mean, that's one of the reasons why we have the badges in the certificates, so it's a memento for them, uh, to record the fact that it's happened. And I think also the fact that the civic dignities that are closely involved is extremely important as well. Chris Conway, News Guardian TV, North Tyneside. <laughs>